Hi guys, are we starting to see something that we haven't seen for 14 years? A government that's serious about fixing problems. So while we should reserve judgement of the new Health Secretary West Streeting, he seems to be keeping his promises. On Monday he met with the British Dental Association and representatives from that organisation spoke very positively about their first meeting. On Tuesday he's due to meet with the junior doctors, who he has clashed with somewhat in the past. But is a real corner being turned here? Now, the Health Secretary has met leaders of the biggest dentist union. It's Wes Streeting's first step in trying to fix a healthcare system he says is broken, with further talks planned tomorrow to try to bring an end to the junior doctor strikes. Our health and social care editor, Victoria MacDonald, is at Westminster. Uh, so, what is the latest, Victoria? Okay, well, uh, Wes Streeting has had a very busy day, but one of the meetings he had today was with the British Dental Association, and they had quite positive noises after that meeting, saying that it could open the door to the reform of what they describe as the discredited contract that dentists in England have to work to. This was a contract, let's not forget, that was signed under the last Labour government in 2006 and has been blamed for the dentists leaving the profession in droves and for the access crisis, a crisis that we've seen firsthand ourselves of people telling us of having to pull out their own teeth, of children going under general anaesthetic to have their teeth removed because they cannot get an NHS dentist. So today in those talks, the BDA said to Mr. Streeting that in the short term, they needed a rescue package and in the long term, they needed reform. And what about the meeting with the junior doctors? Okay, so tomorrow afternoon there will be a face-to-face meeting with Wes Streeting and the Junior Doctors Committee of the BMA. Now, the Junior Doctors, as we know, have been on strike 11 times and this has uh, caused a lot of disruption. We think maybe towards 1.5 million appointments cancelled and operations cancelled. They even went on strike during the election, which annoyed Mr Streeting, and he asked them to call it off, but they didn't. However, he also said that one of his first phone calls, if he got into office, would be to the junior doctors to resolve this dispute, and indeed that's what he's done. So these are talks tomorrow, not negotiations, but it is hoped that it will open the way to negotiations. And of course, what Labour, the Labour government cannot do is get its waiting list pledge down if they don't resolve this first. Victoria MacDonald, thanks. Isn't this a massive break from the past? If this was the Tories, what would they be saying? Will they be saying, well, there's the pandemic and we're still coming out of the pandemic, or we've invested record numbers in the NHS and social care and dentistry, and, and we have a wonderful contract in the in the pipeline for dentists. And it, this would be the response. It would be nothing to do with us, everything to do with the pandemic. Don't worry, we're investing record numbers in the NHS. It's just smoke and mirrors. So at least you have a minister who is going and meeting with the dentists and the dentists have come out and said, look, we're actually quite happy with this meeting. Now, of course, it's not uh, negotiations, but at least it's a meeting. And then the same with junior doctors. So at least he's going to meet with junior doctors to discuss their concerns. But as was pointed out here, if you want to bring down the waiting list, you need to provide better paying conditions to both dentists and junior doctors in this case. You you need to retain staff in order to bring down the waiting list. That's the first step. Then you have to recruit staff. So you need to invest in training and, and of course, paying conditions as well when it comes to, to that. But isn't it a massive break from the past? Actually meeting with the doctors, listening to their concerns, meeting with the dentists, listening to their concerns, and trying to hopefully work out some sort of agreement. Now, of course, when the negotiations begin, the junior doctors are not going to get exactly what they want. Maybe the dentists won't get exactly what they want. But it should be good enough, we hope, for them to stay. Because as we know, junior doctors, nurses and dentists are leaving the country to work abroad in places like Canada or Australia, where where the paying conditions are much better. So the first step, meet with them, listen to their concerns, and then put something reasonable on the table. That's because I, I think West Streeting will will do that. Because if he wants to bring down the waiting list, he has to do that. He first has to retain the staff by providing them with a good contract when it comes to the dentists, paying conditions when it comes to junior doctors, 
and then move on to the next stage, which is, of course, recruitment of more staff. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.